Hey guys, uh, good evening. Uh, awesome Friday evening weather, and you know we have Shami with us. Uh, she is here from Chennai, and basically from Hyderabad. And the reason Shami is here because uh, she is passionate about what she is doing. She believes that it's never too late to start something, and uh, it's better to do something even it's late uh, rather than regretting later. Uh, she is working for airlines, and uh, we will hear more about her, but. Uh, she has also volunteered to, you know, uh, take up uh, the rescue operations where you know she is getting few, uh, uh, you know, Indians who are stranded abroad and vice versa to take the travel in this particular situation. Uh, she is one of uh, she is running uh, or she is driving a profile, which generally doesn't get much of appreciation, but uh, you know, a profile that is at high risk. Uh, now that the travel air travel has started and you know some of the team members crew members are at high risk because they are uh, interacting with hundreds of people who are uh, you know traveling and uh, during the rescue mission she is also now uh, had to go through covid test because uh, not only volunteering but she had to go through the test to ensure that uh, she she is uh, she can get into the right role of rescuing uh, others so uh, awesome passion uh, uh, Shamin, so please uh, talk something about this. And you know, before we get started, uh, we will also get through the rapid fire question. We'll also hear what she wants to uh, focus on, and uh, she becomes uh, the chief minister. And uh, just to let you know, guys, uh, this particular episode, uh, my wife decided because she is there's so many uh, inspiring uh, women entrepreneurs that are coming in this particular show. So. She decided to sponsor this particular episode, so that's the reason we have Happy Belly logo here, and uh, that's what I have here, uh, which is the energy drink. So, from him, over to you. Please uh, talk about yourself, your passion, and you know what, what are, how, how did you get here? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, Ravi, for having me here. It's a pl pleasure being here on this platform. I'd also like to thank uh, Adi, Adeline for introducing me to you, so that I could be here. And my name is Shaman Vincent, as Ravi said, and uh, I'm from a small town. I'm a single mother. I moved to Hyderabad for higher education, actually. And then once I completed my graduation, I started working for multinational corporations and BPOs. And one fine day I was traveling on a flight. That was the first time, actually, I was traveling four years back. So i all excited about traveling in air. And the lead cabin attendant who was on that flight was a junior from my college. So I recognized her and I, then I started talking to her about this profession and all. When I was small, I was, you know, thinking about this job, but we had, I don't know, most of them have the perception that this job is only, you know, for rich people and uh, it is very hard to get into it. But then she told me what all the benefits are and what do you need to do and all that. So I, I said, let me give a try for the interview. And that's what I got selected. And it's been four years with Indigo. I am blessed. I feel I love my profession right now. So, yeah, that's about me. <laughs> that, that's really nice. And, you know, uh, coming from a small town and, you know, settling down with a high profile uh, job, you know, it. Yeah. it and some of these profiles look very glamorous, but you know they, you know it takes uh, a lot of efforts to reach there, uh, a lot of requirements, a lot of compliances that you have to pass through to reach there. You know yeah. some of these uh, people don't know about the uh, story behind glamour. So what what takes it to you know reach there? And you started late. You know, you you basically worked. Uh, you know you had a career earlier in different yeah. industry, and then you take this profession. So what is the difference? What is the requirement? Uh, in this particular industry uh, the requirement is nothing com like compulsory what it has to be is you know the your minimum is plus two like your 12th standard has to be there and apart from that is fluency in english and hindi i'm talking about the domestic one so fluent fluency in english and hindi and no visible tattoos and mm -hmm. um, customer service a bit of customer service so but Thinking on your feet is very important. Patience is very important again. So yeah, these are the main things that's it. And the training also is given by them itself. And it's a rigorous training for three months, which you get different type of 
training. So there's a very big, huge manual which we have to go through. That's right. about. <laughs> yeah. So that, people that, think that cabin attendants are, you know, only to serve food on board. It's like just a hotel service in it, but there are many other aspects of it. Yeah. So it's service, you have to take care of the lives of uh, the customer, you have to yeah. know all the emergency aspects of uh, the customer. And yeah, yeah uh, answering back with a smile, you know, whatever the challenges are, yeah. and whatever the issues uh, at home, you, you basically ensure that, you know, that's not reflected in your work. And that's yeah. the in this, this profession. True. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a different job because the beginning when I was working for a BPO, it used to be a, like, a fixed timing nine to five job or what what we call it but obviously it was not nine to nine to five because it was international processes so it would be midnight shifts but it was a steady job sitting in front of the computer doing the same job every day every day every day but now it is different like you go to see many places you interact with many people you get to know different cultures it's nice it's nice i, I really like it <laughs> so i'm very passionate about my job right now this yeah Being so uh, there is, yeah there is a profile picture of yours which we, we have already uh, also published here uh, which okay. talks about sort of uh, you know papers i mean can you can you uh, throw some light on your achievements this particular picture yeah so actually when a passenger is happy with the services provided on board we all of them have a customer service email address or a contact number so many passengers on my flight, they have written appreciation emails to the company, to that email address. So the company go, went ahead and gave me a copy. So for all my appreciations, which I had got. Wow. So it, it, really... It's like motivation also for, for me. Yeah. So people yeah. are liking what I do. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. So we hope you get lot more of appreciations like this. Uh, we have another picture. So in this particular picture, we want you to talk about uh, the picture, the person, uh, the person, about the person. Uh, and uh, generally what we do is we do a lot of research when we uh, come across people like this. And uh, when you have a photograph like this. So can this you talk about picture. it? I, I cannot see the picture actually. Okay. So this is with uh, Jackie Shara. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, Jackie Shroff was on my flight for three, three of my flights actually. I've met him apart from that picture also many times. So he like, I can I can say that he knows me personally because not I don't have his contact number and all, but he knows he'll recognize me if he sees me. So first time when he was on my flight, that time also I was the lead cabin attendant. So I like took little extra care of him because he's obviously a celebrity and people were like going on and on. So I was also happy that this profession has also given me a chance to meet so many uh, celebrities actually. So I was happy that he was one of him and he was, he's a very down to earth person. You know, he doesn't see any difference between mankind and nothing. So he's very nice, jovial person. And the second time again, I saw him on flight and he recognized me. So it was like that, it was a good connection and I, it, we, we, we spoke throughout the flight and all that, yeah. So he keeps Definitely. traveling a lot from Mumbai to Chennai actually. And since I'm based out of Chennai, I work from Chennai. So I meet him sometimes, yeah. So as a person, I mean, you know, when we meet celebrities, what we do is we start checking out their profile, their movies. We uh, yeah. try to get connected as to how is he as a person. So, what's what's your take in terms of his, uh, you know, work which he does in movies and uh, as a person? We all know that he's a very good actor. So, I wouldn't say anything much on that because I've seen few movies of his. But he's a very nice person in nature. When you speak to him, like what you see on screen is acting, but on in oh, in oh. real life, he's a different person. I would say that. Yeah. Yes. So the next picture is uh, South Indian hero. Oh, Dhanush. <laughs> okay. It was uh, nice meeting him. He was very calm. He didn't speak throughout the flight because he's a very big star. And all the people were, you know, going on, coming, coming towards him. So he was like calm. He just 
put his eye eye mask on and he went to sleep like he didn't want it to be disturbed but later when we were about to land i went and spoke to him i i offered the services and all that then i asked him if we could click a picture so yeah that's okay. about it <laughs> yeah that's nice so the next picture uh, unfortunately you're not able to see it but uh, this is a picture with your family and granny and so can you talk about it i can't mm. see the picture so many pictures <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your granny is in uh, a green dress uh, with your parents, with your sister. Uh, she is sitting in a chair and uh, with your daughter beside. I'm assuming it's your sister and your parents. My grandmother or great grandmother. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am assuming uh, it's great great grandmother. Okay, so my great grandmother is like uh, she's over ninety years old and she's all. strong still i could say that she's over 90 and she's really strong so she from the beginning itself she took care of her self very well so whenever we get a chance we meet her she stays in nagpur so mm -hmm. it's nice to go and meet her she also feels happy that you know uh, people from our family are into different professions not only me my, my other cousins also so she is very happy about it yeah what is that one thing which you have learned from your grand one thing so for my granny i would say when i i used to when i used to go there when i was small to nagpur for my summer holidays and all that so we used to have two breakfasts one was at 6 uh, o'clock and one was at 9 o'clock so for one thing she used to give us is called it's called egg slip okay so it is milk and a raw egg in the milk and it is a flip so i think that is one of her secrets that she is still so strong it's called egg flip <laughs> so egg yeah. in milk raw egg in milk that's all yeah raw egg in milk yeah i have tried and that. i didn't know that beginning i it was tasty and i used to drink it but later when i got to know that it was raw egg i stopped <laughs> having it <laughs> yeah so yeah. There, there was a time when, when i think this was the initial uh, days of my career just after college i was very lean i was so lean okay uh, all my cousins and friends used to you know say you know you're the thinnest of all and all. so i i went to a doctor i wanted to seriously put on weight and and which i'm regretting now I, it's the other way around so i i <laughs> took the same recipe uh, he recommended so a glass of milk raw egg But yeah, there was another yeah. part to it. Uh, it was like a spoon of uh, brandy to it, and that's oh, all. Okay. You know, no sugar, nothing else. And <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I think I tried it for almost six months, and it was really good. And it did work. It did work. Yeah, egg is good protein, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. So, so uh, we yeah. want to know, know more about uh, you, Shami. So, are you ready for the rapid fire question? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So yes. describe your twenties. Oh, my twenties are complicated. I would say uh, there are a lot of things took place in my twenties, diff different opportunities as well. So I would like to finish this in one word that is complicated. Yeah. Okay. But I also got a very nice. Uh, turn in my life is my daughter so mm -hmm. yeah, she's 8 years old so what are good things lot of bad things so balanced yeah what's her name what's your daughter's name ashlyn kate vincent ashlyn okay so uh, you know remember uh, shamin you know it, it it goes bad things people who gone through the bad things have real good memories people who have had perfect life will feel that hum log ne kuch nahi kiya zindagi mein to you know <laughs> they really happy about life what. is all about ups and downs so you learn with your mistakes too yeah define sunrise what comes into your mind when you talk about what somebody says sunrise beginning of a new thing okay yeah that's what it is i feel it's the beginning of a new thing because if something 
relating it to life also if it is if it is, if you're filled in darkness and you are having all negativity sunrise is like positivity and you know a new beginning for you so that is what my feeling is yeah i thought uh, you will talk about alarm because most of the crew members working in the airlines are always like alarm baja niklo 3 baje 4 baje let's let the prob- only <laughs> one thing is you know it is as i said it's not a 9 to 5 job so every day we have a roster and we don't know when is our you know suppose if i know all my flight is so and so time it will be at the 2 o'clock in the morning 12 o'clock in the night like 3 o'clock in the morning or sometime 11 o'clock in the morning so it's it's any time it's not a fixed time apart from that there's another thing which most of the people don't know that like when all the flights are full and they have sufficient cabin crew some of the crew are put on standby hmm. if suppose a operating crew is reporting sick or she's not able to operate that flight for a certain reason then the person who's on standby will go they will ask them to operate that flight so they are they'll be giving you a standby time like 3 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the morning and in that time you have to be awake waiting to check if you are going to go for a flight or no so, so yeah <laughs> most of the most of us do are not aware of it but yeah you are basically not going to work but you should be always like a firefighter be alert be ready yeah. um, yes. yes. firefighting as you said firefighting is also one of the trainings we had undergone when we had Uh, our initial training so mm. and we have to go through this trainings every year for our, for our license to be valid so yeah. yeah and physically we have to do those exercises or whatever it is like you know uh, some of them are like fire fighting and you know slide drill or you know ditching ditching is like jumping into water just in case emergency situation mm. so that is also done once in 3 years so physically also we are you know we get at least you know no we know what happens if, if in that kind of situation arises on board yeah so i, I know how lively uh, you are as a crew and you know you work together you stay together because i i was uh, you know traveling frequently with one of my friends priya uh, i i'm okay. sure she will know how excited i was uh, in gurgaon uh, we were staying in a hotel called ibis it's a very small room property and you know most of the uh, crew were coming there and it's all blue across and by you know when we were having lunch dinner breakfast the entire crew comes they they have lots of fun it, you know i've not seen a day when you know anybody was like moody or you know kare they were enjoying the moment to the chorus matlab itna fun i i used to love just watching them Uh, having that particular fun, you know how they can convert work, you know, uh, being with colleagues while they're traveling, uh, more exciting rather than just sitting at home. Like, you know, yes, it happens. You know, we get layovers, and every time it is always a different set of crew. You don't fly with the same crew every day, so it's a different set of crew you meet with them. And if if they are your friends, then plan banta hai. You know, go, come we'll go for movie, come we'll go shopping. We'll see this place here, we'll see that place here. So it's. it's nice yeah so i think as a personality you have to be very agile for the timings the location kabhi bhi travel karna hai anything i think that's the personality you have to get adapted apart from the knowledge yeah. part of it mm-hmm. i think as a personality you should be Flex- ready for it yes flexible with whatever flexible. is going to happen yeah that's that's nice so what's your, what's your favorite cuisine so you've been traveling uh, to different locations so kya pasand hai kahan ka kya cheez I would say Indian only. <laughs> I would say Indian. <laughs> we we from Hyderabad. It's obviously spicy food. So the other cuisines, I don't feel it much interesting. But when there is no other option, then you have to try that out. So <laughs> yeah. So when you're with your friends and you know your regular crew members who are like working with you for a long time, you know them well. So yes. what do they tell? Shamin Milan say, "What do you say?" If I ask them, what, do, what will they define you as? I it will be like I'm praising myself. <laughs> 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 so uh, she's sweet. This is what I hear. She's sweet. She's cool. So yeah, this is what I hear. <laughs> Because I, I ask some of the crew, no, like what happens is some. 
everyone has a first day on flight so mm. indigo hires a lot of crew so they they ask like they, they come on flight and all so i asked them did you ask anyone how i am so like just to, like little scare them no so they actually have to report to me on flight so whatever happens on board i am responsible for it so i asked them that did, did you ask anyone how is shamin you must have asked your friends if they flew with me or no <laughs> so they said no some of them say no and some of them say yes so i said so i asked them what did she tell about me so she said no no she's sweet she's cool so i don't know if that's the truth or fact but this is what i got to know <laughs> yeah. so what makes you smile you know apart from playing prank on your uh, you know the newbies uh, coming to learn something what what makes you what? Uh, i like people who people on flight who respect the cabin crew and you know they they understand our job they are, they you know appreciate us for the job we do like many old passengers and all that when they are struggling to walk you give them a helping hand they'll just say god bless you and you know they put their hand on your head children like even the parents thank you so much for you know helping this speaking with the child and you know it's like a time pass for her otherwise she doesn't like to travel thank you so much They're like i like uh, people who appreciate the work you do yeah it, it, not only in that case uh, uh, there was a medical situation also on my flight and you know people were panicking ki what happened to him what happened to him but and the situation was taken care of very well on board with all the crew members after the situation was calmed down then the other passengers like you know good job done very well so it was like thank you so much and that automatically gets you a smile on your face so that that one thing i i would say yeah. so apart from the oldies and you know the bacche any of your kids uh, said thank you auntie and then left so many of them so many of them and so many of them also have you know thoda sa attitude aunty pani do na it's like that pani aunty un mat bulao didi bulao so yeah but i don't mind but they are children so yeah it's fine <laughs> then you go and give them a chocolate and they be very happy so like ये चॉकलेट दे लो आंटी मत बुलाना करके या ओके व्हाट व्हाट्स द लास्ट मूवी यू फिनिश्ड वाचिंग अभी लास्ट वन डे टू डे मेरी आज क्वेश्चन व्हाट वाज द मूवी आई डोंट रिमेंबर द नेम आल्सो इट वाज दिस अबाउट सम पैंडेमिक सिचुएशन व्हिच there's a movie based on that no english yeah yeah in english on netflix on amazon i think i saw it yeah i i don't remember the name it was based on a pandemic situation with sir yeah, i i don't watch movies okay this. pandemic to bazo laga rahe the there's too much <laughs> everywhere so okay it's the pehle wala it's the pehle wala second last which you where you remember the name I need to remember. Last Hindi, movie, comedy movie. So, what's what's the genre you generally search for? Like, Sorry. What what is the, the type of movie category of movie you search for? I like suspense actually. Suspense thrillers. Yeah, thrillers. So. So, अभी आता है उधर. What is the last? I movie? don't remember. I actually, you know, I I didn't. see a movie recently so i don't remember yeah. i was watching yeah, a lot of i was a binge i was binge watching on netflix so that's mm. what yeah i also so sorry yeah. couldn't answer that nahi nahi ye sab ki story hai you know we are so busy searching you know half an hour one hour is only on searching and browsing what to search so yeah, <laughs> if, even you ask me what i what is the last movie i watched <laughs> very good name but after that we are searching with so many platforms and you know so many uh, options available yeah. so uh, if you if you won a million dollars with you what would you do oh million dollars uh, i didn't think about this now i'm thinking about it <laughs> 
That was that is one thing which I want to do. So yeah. So apart from that, so at at work you will have to like you know dress up. You have to look glamorous and you know you have to look fit and fine. Uh, off screen, you know, how are you? You know, you, are you a simple girl, a simple dress, or you know you you generally like to be uh, <laughs> presentable all the time? If if you see me. At home, you will not think that I'm a cabin attendant. <laughs> One straight line. A simple, a normal girl. How she stays at home? That's it. <laughs> I don't think I. You would have like thought yesterday also. I think you must have got a shock. Is she a cabin attendant? <laughs> Correct. I'm right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> But I was prepared, you know, based on what happened with Ivy's Hotel and all that. So many crew members. You know, while they're going to the room and while they come for the breakfast, it's a complete transition. Yeah, so, it's a different thing. Yeah. But yeah, simplicity is the best uh, thing. Yeah, at home we all be how we are, how everyone be. But that when that uniform comes on, then it's a complete different picture. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What is the one thing which you're very afraid of? I am afraid of. Drowning. Mm. <laughs> okay. Drowning. I'm scared of drowning. Yeah, I'm sure you will not come across that, but uh, even if that situation comes, I'm sure you will come up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Best compliments you have ever received. Uh, some. People told me that I look like Deepika Padukone. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> My, not completely from an angle. Yeah, you, like, you've got features. So yeah. that is what yes. I got a compliment. I took it as a compliment. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, with this hairstyle, you do have uh, you know those features. Yes. <laughs> some some angles I look like that. Some people say so. Some passengers also told the same thing. So, might be true. <laughs> Your favorite Deepika's uh, dialogue, which you prepared because yes, the compliments bar bar are there. So you're like, okay, this Deepika does. So let me also keep and keep doing. This. No, I didn't try all that, but I only remember one dialogue of Deepika's. That is, you know, ek chutki sindu, chutki ki mal. Tum kya jaano Ramesh Babu? Ha, that's one. That one I remember very well. <laughs> Om Shanti Om. Okay. Uh, Your best movie quote. You just uh, mentioned that. <clears throat> What is that one thing uh, you want to put in your bucket list, and you know, which is the next thing you want to achieve? I already answered it actually. Family international trip. Yeah. Good. Okay. If you have to go around the world, which location? And if you have to, uh, if you get a chance to settle there, this is not with family, you alone. If you have to settle down, maybe with your daughter, or uh, which location and why? Mm. I didn't go to all the places, so I don't know. And it's a tricky question. Might be Paris. Might be. Yeah. Might be. It's all might be. <laughs> But all the places which I've traveled to, I don't think I'll settle there. I like India better than that. <laughs> So what annoys you? La lying. Okay. Mm. What annoys you as per your friends? If we ask your colleagues, if we pray, so definitely Shamin will be annoyed. What is that? So, तुम्हारे दोस्त जानते हैं. 
I'm thinking of my roommate actually, what she would do and I'll get irritated. Nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> okay. If you say something like that, then I'll be angry later. Name your besties uh, who made your life uh, pretty easy uh, after joining this particular industry. It can be friends, <laughs> managers, name few of them. They made your journey exciting my journey exciting what do you say friends or friends manager leaders anybody who, who made your journey in this particular industry very exciting friends i'll say my roommate her name is priyanka chetri so no. she she has been in the company same as, same as me and she has a prior experience of jet airways also so she's a very nice person she's encouraged me also i'll say that apart from that so i say can i say family also no <laughs> like, you know when they come to no. when you go to office no you see them as a of oh, i would also say that you know uh my manager who who takes care of the chennai base yeah, he was also encouraging a lot to you know to go ahead and apply for a promotion and you know complimenting me for my work which i have done so i think i linked to him also and the third mere family se hai to i'll tell my mom my dad my parents yeah <laughs> So okay. in Chennai also actually there was nothing much to do. So we friends only have a nice time and we encourage each other. So, so you were stuck in Chennai and you know your family is here. So how were you connected? What is that one thing which you missed a lot? Ghar ka khana to I miss my mom ka food and spending time with my daughter also I miss. because i couldn't be there and it was a, actually a long gap because almost every month at least once i would once twice i used to go to hyderabad you know to stay at home but uh, in this lockdown i couldn't and it was only video calls which we could connect through so yeah those two things are i missed what is that one thing you still have from your childhood from my childhood so i have uh, my christening dress so when they, in hindi they call it namkaran no so that's what we call it as christening and i have the dress it's a white dress i yeah. even have one small pink dress it's just like a handkerchief size actually <laughs> and uh, my mom to call the effort of uh, making a baby book for me so first time i fell down first time i uh, uh, you know was on a tricycle and first time my first tooth when it fell everything is written in that with all my baby photos and all that so that is also one good thing i have nice one one school memory weird thing or not weird thing or memorable thing that you've done in your school days not college school days what i have done during your school days yeah what what is that one weird not weird or memorable moment tabhi to deepika patkone ki tarah nahi dikhi hogi so you know i'm sure there is no comment she didn't come to the industry <laughs> no i'm trying to think college mein to bahut masti kiya actually in school i changed three school so i'm trying to think what is a naughty thing i did in school और शोर करना तो बहुत करते थे हम लोग तो वाला क्लास मिल गया हमको कॉलेज में आई कैन से आई आई डिड लॉट ऑफ ऑफ सो कॉलेज 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 का का बताओ वाज जूनियर रामनगर 
and it has a hostel inside the college so since i said i was from a small town i was staying in the hostel there and it has very strict timing so after 9 o'clock we are supposed to sleep but and everyone has to be in their own rooms no one is, has to go in, into another person's room we friends all used to like 10 14 of us all used to sit in one room as the warden goes away and we used to start playing antakshri middle of the night she comes suddenly and we are hiding in the washrooms under the bed so it was a lot of mastery we used to get caught also and got punished also because of it <laughs> otherwise skipping meals and hiding because we didn't like the food we, we used to skip meals and get and hide here and there and again get caught for that also <laughs> yeah you've not uh, school days me kisi ko pencil se tap karna aise kuch nahi kiya no kiya to gussa mein kiya but i i didn't get punishment and all because mere dost the the so So nice, nice knowing you uh, in detail. So, so I mean, what would you do if you become the chief minister? What are the areas you would focus on? Uh, if I was the chief minister of my state, I'd uh, first look into the education system, and because uneducation leads to unemployment, which is faced by a lot of youth nowadays, which leads to depression and a very stressful life with a lot of struggle. so that is one place which has to be improved but looking at the current situation which we are going through right now i would like to take a very important decision of keeping a backup ready for my state so that my people in the state do not suffer in crisis like this any natural cal- calamity let it be like you know cyclones and earthquakes happening nowadays or this na- corona covid 19 so we i think we have to have a backup plan and backup at least a fund ready to support the people who are suffering in that time so yeah, that that would be a really good thing i would like to do yeah people are not getting food to eat also in this crisis so thanks to all the volunteers who could contribute do their bit uh, at their own capacity to help the people the yes. poor money travel so good good thought a so, lot of people have helped out others but coming from the state's view individually people are taking a lot of of responsibilities and doing this but coming from the state view i think it should be done <laughs> not commenting on anything particular but yeah the education should be at that good Good Shamin, thanks. Thanks for taking time out for this. Uh, we respect the industry. Uh, thanks for coming out. I think uh, you are one of the industries which opened up early to help others uh, travel. Yes. And thanks for volunteering to for these rescue projects and you know getting tested and all that. So it takes a lot of efforts for all this. So please do stay safe. Take care of the passengers for us. Yeah. And um, you know keep smiling. Keep keep up your energies. Keep strong like your grandmother. And, uh, <laughs> Hopefully, let's be with us. The secret recipe yeah. with, and uh, yeah, <laughs> better need any help. Uh, you know, we have friends all across. So yeah, all the best, yeah. uh, your parents and uh, God bless your lovely daughter. Thanks. Because uh, Thank she, you. I'm sure she understands now that uh, her mom is on a mission. So, <laughs> yeah. In Chennai yeah. now, she realizes that uh, her mom is on a mission. So, <laughs> yes. Thank you so best. much. Thank Do you well. so much. You too. Stay safe. Yeah. Nice speaking with you and getting to know you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, friends. Have a great Friday evening. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.